What's going on Sagittarius? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be your reading for the last week of 2023, December 25th through the 31st, 2023. So in this reading Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding the last week of the year. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment, Sagittarius, to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance, Sagittarius, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would really appreciate that as well, Sagittarius. So... Without further ado, I'm going to pull the energy and we'll see what's coming your way for December 25th through the 31st, 2023, Sagittarius. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Sagittarius. Hold on. Okay, very interesting energy that you got going on here for Sagittarius for sure. Before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. And these oracle cards contain the energy that spirit wants you to consider, wants you to embody and really be in more of. You need more of this energy for the upcoming week. And the first one is the ninth house. Uh, learning and faith. And this should be pretty easy for you because um, the ninth house is all about Sagittarius energy, right? Sagittarius rules the ninth house. So with this being here, definitely focusing on your own growth, expansion, optimism, anything, to, you know, this is your own energy. I don't really have to sit here and tell you about your own energy, but I do feel Sagittarius that there could be a change. There could be a change to your own belief system at this time is what spirit is advising me to tell you because I do feel that many of you have developed quite a substantial philosophy about life. You know, Sagittarius is all about the belief systems. You know, what is your belief? How does the world work? But the thing is about this reality is that beliefs create reality fr from the highest level. So I do feel like there's something letting you know, like, um, there's an opportunity to, to expand your current belief system, even if the one that you already have is working for you. Okay, I do feel that. Um, the next energy you need more of as well is Sagittarius, the world explorer. Wow. I mean, what are the... I don't know how many cards are in this deck. What are the chances... Th it looks like you just need you right now. Okay, Sagittarius, many of you right now, the, the advice from Spirit is to focus on you and yourself. Other than that, there may be a fellow Sagittarius that is coming in for you. If there's another Sagittarius that you're dealing with in their big three, sun, moon, rising, spirit is advising you to interact with this individual at this time. But um, there's definitely something here going on with your own energy, okay? And your own belief system and your own philosophy. We'll see what it has to do with, but let's keep going. Um, you also have the second house, resources and values, Okay, so I do feel like for many of you, this is spirit advising you to 
perhaps rehash your own beliefs about your own value, what gives you value, okay? And for some of you out there, I do feel like you're discounting your own knowledge, okay? Like this is, and this is not gonna be for all of you, but for some of you Sagittarius is out there, you need to realize that as a Sagittarius, you can really help a lot of people just by talking to them, just by like being that fiery growth and expansion being that you are, like that has so much value that if you're a Sagittarius listening to this right now and maybe you're struggling with money, maybe you're struggling with your career or some sort of security, I really feel that for you, you can, you can find peace in your own value as a philosopher at this time. And instead of discounting that knowledge, um, you're gonna be leaning into it and seeing it as valuable, seeing it as an asset, seeing it as a, uh, a service that you could provide to people, whether it's for financial or just heart to heart, good energy, um, you know? So some of you as well, you, you may be changing your beliefs about resources and values and money. A lot of your, your beliefs around money could be shifting right now. And a lot of you could realize, I, I feel like there's two different types of Sagittarius. You either overdid the money and you're gonna be like, I don't really care, I wanna go, I wanna like get rid of all my stuff, I just wanna go travel. But for others of you that have been suffering with you know, resources, values, who you are, uh, I feel like this is a this is a message for you to for you to really sink into who you are and know that that's valuable. Whatever you want to do with it. I mean, Sagittarius can be like archbishops that can be seen as very spiritually lofty and people will listen to you. Um, but it's also a sign of an athlete as well. So, I don't know. Um, let's just go into the tarot. Um, when it comes to your opportunity, you have the Knight of Cups, and this is to get very idealistic and dreamy and romantic about life. I'm seeing 11, 11, 11 as I'm seeing that here. I do feel like there's been this thing about your, for some of you, um, there's a renewal to your philosophy that has grown stale. And as much as you, you have learned about life, there's always more to learn right? I learn something new every single time I do a reading, every single time I do an astrology reading, a tower reading, I always learn something new. And I feel like for you, that's the way of it. It's just to embrace, you know, to, to embrace expansion here, especially though, um, you know, in some sort of physical way with the second house that's ruled by Taurus, you have the Sagittarius energy with a Taurian spin. So it's interesting. I don't know. We'll see why the Knight of Cups is here. For some of you, there is going to be an opportunity in love. There is gonna be a new love opportunity. We're gonna to have to clarify to get more information about it though soon. Your challenge is the high priestess. And this has to do with intuition, you know, the feminine wisdom principle here in your challenge. So it could be a hard, you know, some of you could be really struggling to listen to your opportunity or to listen to your intuition, excuse me, because I do feel like your intuition is calling you to really shake up your life and, and, and avoid, avoid some sort of false sense of security. You know, some of you may, some of you may have a great deal of comfort from your own current philosophy that you have developed, but I would say that that, you know, true philosophy should always be expanding. There are certain universal laws, as you know, that are not gonna go anywhere. They're just not gonna go anywhere, but the way that you work with them, the way that you think about them, the way that, you know, these are things that you can change. Um, now, for some of you, it's like there's definitely a mysterious love situation developing because you have the opportunity as the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess is your challenge. So there could be someone that you know you're going to be with or someone could feel this about you right now. And um, there could be an, you know kind of behind the scenes love situation developing. And for a lot of you, it could actually be with another Sagittarius. I do feel that. Um, so I don't know, we're going to have to see what it's about, but really right now, you know, even though the Knight of Cups is your opportunity based on the cards that I see is to really focus on yourself right now and make whatever adjustment that you need to, to your own beliefs, your own idea of growth and expansion and how that influences your resources and values. Like I said, I feel like there's two different camps of Sagittarius is out there. Some of you are going to be more drawn to the minimalism now, like for, in 2024, you could be saying, luxury brands and all this crap. Like, I don't even care about it. But for others of you, <laughs> you're going to be teaching people. You're going to be dispensing a philosophy that's going to make you rich. 
And in the golden age, in the age of Aquarius that we're moving into, instead of people who are spiritual, who are going to offer a service, instead of look, looking down on that, we're moving to a time where that's the highest form of exchange. That's the highest form of exchange, right? Like the, the, the most beautiful thing someone can offer is a spiritual service. So for those of you that don't have, maybe you're struggling with money or your resources, it's like you need to identify yourself as a strong Sagittarius person who can change someone's mind, bring joy, optimism, fun, growth to someone. You better place value on that. You have to, because no one's going to come to save you. You have to do it. The reason, or you have to readjust that. And maybe you took it too far. Maybe your own philosophy has brought you a lot of security, but now it's time to expand. The reason why I'm saying that is this. In your overall general energy, you have the magician, the four of pen, the four of pentacles in reverse, and also the wheel of fortune. So I feel like there's there's some sort of security here, you know, holding on to some sort of physical thing that has gone sour this week. It, it just leaves a, a bad taste in your mouth here. You also have the magician and the wheel of fortune. So this is potential and destiny. This is spiritual energy and the wheel of your fate starting to spin. A mate, You have a major spiritual opportunity. And with this being here in your overall general energy, for most of you, there's definitely like a letting go of uh, security in, in the physical realm. And perhaps some of you, you know, however that has to be, okay, like there's definitely an awakening of spiritual potential and, and your destiny is coming on board. So for some of you, there may be a lack of security because there's a lot of things changing. Right now, the Wheel of Fortune is a portal of change. And right, we're, this is one of those readings we're really going to have to clarify, which I actually like those readings. But when it comes to like what you don't see coming, um, you have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and also the Seven of Swords here. When it comes to what you don't see coming, so there could be a little deception around you know, physical resources and money. Like I said, some of you could... Some of you could be really just dropping a belief very quickly and as a result and as a result becoming very happy. You know, there could be some sort of deception, some sort of self deception. The 9 of cups has to do with the self. This has to do with deception, stealing, lying, cheating. But the 9 of uh, the queen of pentacles has to do with money and resources. So, for a lot of you, I feel like there's a quick change in your belief system this week that just frees you up. You know, why do I why am I putting myself down for that? Why am I? And now for some of you, what you have to realize, once again, it's two different camps of Sagittarius. If you're really struggling financially, you really want more money. You really want to have more things, you know, because what you need more of is the second house resources and values. For some of you, if you've already been some sort of Don Juan thong pro rich Sagittarius, I think you're actually going to be like, I'm killing my, I need to, I screw money. I already did. I've been there, done that. Let's go do something. Maybe... So take the key to your house and your car, put it in a drain and go to Zambia. But for others of you, um, you're really going to have a clear clarity about how your own finance, your beliefs about money are changing because some of you have been the philosopher. I don't need money. You think that's going to make you happy? No, it's not. So therefore, I'm just not going to do anything or I'm not going to really work to improve that. But I feel like that's an escape mechanism for some of you who are really struggling financially. You know, I feel like there's this idea that like you can't keep just Sagittarian yourself out of human needs. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. But now to your advice, uh, you have the strength card, you have the Seven of Wands, and you also have the Knight of Wands. For me, the Knight of Wands is kind of Sagittarius energy. You know, it's like Jupiter. Kind of Sometimes it can promise more than it can deliver. And um, with this being here in your advice, I feel like this is putting up a boundary to your own current philosophy, defending yourself from someone else's philosophy or your own philosophy, your own beliefs, and having strength to work with it. I feel like this is the strength to work with your own fiery beliefs. Because if we look at this, this is Leo energy, and then you have two fire things enthusiasm, passion, but also I just think it's you. You know, you, you may need to put up a boundary with your own self, if that makes sense. I know this reading sounds vague, but we're going to get much more information when we start to clarify Sagittarius. Um, I know this reading may not sound like it's the most exciting thing ever, but I'm telling you something very important is happening for you right now. Um, yeah, major adjustment in your life, and it has to do with your resources, values, money, me, mine, Taurus energy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify why the Knight of Cups is in your opportunity for this week. 
you know, there could be someone who's really interested in you, but you have to put up a boundary because you know that you're not going to be the secure thing that they're looking for or vice versa. I am getting that very strongly now, Sagittarius. I do feel like for many of you, there's a new love thing like right on the horizon. You know, it could be very new. But I feel like someone really wants commitment from you that maybe you don't have the capacity to give or vice versa. And you need to be, there's something about being honest about the potential of a relationship coming in. Um, okay, so let's clarify the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups in your opportunity. Knight of Cups and your opportunity is clarified with the Death card, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and also the Eight of Cups. So there's definitely like, um, wow, there's definitely a transformation of emotions in your opportunity. Your opportunity is to emotionally transform yourself here. The Death card has to do with endings, transformation. The Ace of Cups is a new mo emotional beginning, and you have the Knight of Cups right here. So for some of you here, um, there is an element of like not lying to someone or not leading someone on, vice versa. Roles can be reversed. I do feel like there's an element in your life about a love situation that you're either leading someone on or someone's leading you on, but deep down you know that there's other things to be focused on right now, um, okay? Like there's definitely... So it's an interesting... Like there could be a love situation that you really want, but you're just not sure about it because you almost feel like it's going to keep you stuck in, a, in the same psych, cycle that you've been in. And although it might give you like short-term happiness, it won't give you long-term happiness. Let's see why the, uh, let's see why the four of pentacles is in reverse. That's like, you know, a little bit too closed down protective, you know, of your, uh, of resources or own something about that. Let's see, security. Something that you're holding on to is not doing it for you anymore. Your soul is really in need of expansion here. The Four of Pentacles is clarified, first of all, by the Four of Cups. So whatever you're doing, whether it's like just, whether you're a Sagittarius rolling around and you're like, I, I don't need money. I really, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have money. My philosophy is so perfect and I just don't need money, man. Well, I think that's going to really bite you in the butt and you're going to realize I'm going to have to step up and change that because we do need money to live. Although there are people who travel with no money and you can use synchronicity to do that, but it's just a little bit of a interesting thing. I think you're getting sick of it. You're getting sick of the cycle, you know, because the world is about an end of a cycle and the king of wands has to do with passion and authenticity. So I feel like if you're being authentic with yourself, the way in which that you find security is, ch it, it needs to change. Whether you're a Sagittarius who is saying, I don't care about money, or for some of you who have used your wisdom, you've used your Jupiter energy you know, Jupiter, everything is good when they're young. You know, Jupiter, it's like, I'm Sagittarius. When I'm like seven, I'll whoop your ass because I got that young Zeus. But what I'm telling you is, is like, maybe you feel a little burnt out. I know I'm not clear today, Sagittarius, but just bear with me. What I'm saying is this. Once again, if you've already capitalized on your Sagittarius thing and made a lot of money as a Sagittarius, I feel like the end to over security and, and, and tying your, you know, identity as a Sagittarius to you know, to making money is over. So it's almost like this, there's this idea of like minimalism versus like, you know what, I need to make some money. It's like, it depends who you are. It's very different. But let's clarify why the Wheel of Fortune is here um, in your overall general energy. Why is the Wheel of a Fortune here? You know, you got to get really clear on your values. 
because Sagittarius has to do with beliefs and the second house is to do with values and resources. So readjusting and recalibrating that. You have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Sun, the Ten of Wands, and also the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's going to... Something... Your opportunity is something is coming to an end that feels like a burden and it's going to make you very happy. There's light being shined on a burden. You know, this is the feeling of being overworked and underpaid, but it also can be too much passion, too much like hanging on. And and then you have the six of pentacles here as well, which is about balance, balancing out this overdone. I just feel like there's an element to your belief system that's been overdone, that has been over pronounced. And once again, depending on what polarity you're in, you're going to go either way here, but there needs to be a switch in polarity in your belief system about resources, money, uh, and things like this, because it's just really making you upset recently. I mean, you could be making all the money in the world and you could just feel a little bit empty, or you can be a Sagittarius traveling the world, have no money. And eventually it starts to just feel like this sucks and I need money now. And it's just, I'm telling you, that's what it is. And some of you will be somewhere in the middle, but then you can use your intuition to apply it. I'm just giving you the base general example. So, yeah, for those of you that are like really struggling financially right now, then you just got to let them have it. I mean, the sun to the 10 of wands is like too much passion. It's like the frequency of the autistic mystic in these readings sometimes. is It's like just I would be way easier to listen to this if you were just a little less passionate, bro. Or maybe some of you don't feel like I'm passionate enough. I don't know. I'm, Sag I'm not a Sagittarius. But it's like you have a gift to share. Why are you not giving your gift to the world? And I feel like you realize this. But... Um, and I feel like that whatever change you're being called to make, it's like very difficult because like you have the high priestess in your challenge and there's no like tower moments here. Yeah, you have the 10 of wands. It's not the 10 of swords though. There's nothing forcing you to change for the 21st, for the 25th, the 35th. Like there's no, at least as of right now, there's nothing forcing you to change. It's just going to be, have to be conscious. Like your willpower is being activated in order to make this correction. Clarify why the Seven of Swords is here and what you don't see coming. And it's walking into the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm telling you there's sketchiness around resources in the earthly realm. Yeah, you're just feeling it's not worth it. The Seven of Swords is clarified by the... The King of Swords in reverse, the Magician in reverse, the Star in reverse, and also the Six of Wands. There's really something blocking you from getting more status, public recognition, attention from other people. Or there could be something that you're doing to get this that is out of alignment now. So let's say that you already made it and you're a Sagittarius superstar and you got all this bread from delivering all this philosophy to people. Well, I really feel like you got to like you can't keep holding up the facade of like, oh my God, like this is really the thing that's going to make me happy. Time to get more organic, time to make a change. But once again, other way around for some of you out there, uh, you got to stop lying to yourself about this whole thing about like, I'm just going to never have money. And maybe it's not about money. Maybe it's about your possessions. Maybe it's about your physical body, taking care of that. You know, something to do with the second house doesn't have to just be money, but it's weird. It's like the seven of swords to the king of swords. It's like, faulty belief system, king of swords in reverse, potential being wasted and renewal being wasted. And it's just kind of like this energy of not refreshing, not wishing, not dreaming big, like upright. I'd be like, damn, like you're, let's go get your set. But it's like, there's something you're doing to yourself to limit your potential. And it's interesting to me that the magician is also here in your overall general energy. Where is it though? It's right next to the four of pentacles in reverse. There's something you're doing that is limiting your potential in the physical world. Once again, if you've already made it big, then maybe you're going to get more attention by going more minimalist and showing that I don't care how many freaking whatever. Do you know, I, I really feel like maybe this is one of the most vague, maybe this is a difficult reading for me, but I feel like maybe that's the energy that you're in. It's just like, once again, high priestess and challenge. Sometimes it's so hard for me because like I could be doing a reading that's like dead on but I'm literally feeling the energy that I'm pulling and I, I mistake it for my own energy to the reading. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's clarify why the high priestess is your uh, challenge. Why is the high priestess your challenge, Sagittarius? You're not going to get an answer, are you? 
<laughs> the answer is just you're just not going to get a clear answer. You need to listen to your, your challenges clarified by the high priestess. The high priestess is clarified by the high priestess. Whenever I get a duplicate like that, I always say like, don't give me, don't give me a duplicate unless what I said before was on point. Don't give me a duplicate. So life seems very unclear at this time about how is this all going to actually go down? What is my destiny? How can I move? How can I readjust my exploratory optimism and somehow ground it? Some some of you, you're, you're too grounded. And you need to go way out there. Others of you need to return here. I'm not going to say that again because I feel like this is like the readings telling me what it is. I do feel like intuitively I'm just missing something with love here. I feel like many of you could have something very important going on with love. I'm just not picking up on it, even though your opportunity is the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Eight of, like. Sorry, there could be a new love situation coming into your life in 2024 that you're simply not allowed to know about yet. You're just not allowed to know because it would ruin the timeline. So this is also, you know, the high priestess is someone who does not need a man. For some of the ladies out there, Sagittarius is listening here, you know, you may need to focus on yourself and get yourself right. You, because I would say this based off this relation, based off this reading. It's impossible to be in a great relationship with someone else until you're first in a good relationship with yourself. And I just think it's funny that the energy you need more of is yourself. You have Sagittarius and you have the ninth house. That's you, you, you. And then you have the second house of values and resources combining with that. So maybe this is the time to focus on you and like when the correct time for a relationship or when the correct time for your fruit to manifest and for you to feel good in the physical second house resources and value. Like your, your timing is your timing. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is put in the work and your timing is adjustable. So I don't know, Sagittarius, very interesting reading. Let's clarify why the seven of wands is here. What is it that you have to put up a boundary with, I feel like it's, it's a very confusing reading, but with the challenge being the high priestess, high priestess, I'm not surprised. Uh, you may need to ground and like root yourself because the seven of wands is clarified by the six of swords. This could be saying like, don't travel. For some of you, are gonna hate me for that, right? <laughs> but I mean, you do have the strength card right next to the King of Wands as well. I mean, sometimes, yeah. I mean, sometimes Sagittarius, the message you need to hear is that wherever you go, there you are. You can't outrun this. Whatever's going on, you can't really outrun it this week, right? You're not gonna be able to just go explore and and that's it, you know, because there's something here doing changing with your beliefs about growth, expansion, and money. Wh whatever end of the spectrum you're on, you're on. It's different for different sages. But um, question everything this week. Question your own motives, you know, because if you're staying stuck, if you're not expanding your mind, then it comes off. People know it as well. It's, it makes your aura stink. So I don't want to see your aura stink. I want to see your aura be popping. Uh, because your aura speaks for you. If you're holding on to negative, if you're holding on to belief systems that maybe they worked, now they need updating. You better update them, or else people can tell you you're trying to convince. You know, whatever, Sagittarius. I really appreciate you. I care about you so much, and I hope you have a great holiday season. And uh, also, personal readings are now open with me. So click the link below if you want to work with me one on one. With, but other than that, I appreciate you. I'll talk to you next time. Uh,